that's terrible white and red phosphorus. And right next to it, there's black and violet phosphorus. Yes, there are at least four different forms of phosphorus, and each one has unique properties. White phosphorus is used as a weapon of war and is the most reactive form. It ignites above 30 degrees Celsius and can't be extinguished by smothering. Red phosphorus is pretty similar. It needs a whopping 240 degrees Celsius to ignite, but once it does, it's also impossible to smother. Just like with white phosphorus, when you place the lid on top, it seems as though the phosphorus is extinguished. But when you take the lid off again, both the red and the white phosphorus burst back into flames. This makes both forms super dangerous, as they're nearly impossible to fully extinguish normally. Black and violet phosphorus are super rare and ridiculously expensive. What's cool is that black phosphorus is the most stable allotrope and supposedly doesn't catch fire at all. Violet phosphorus can actually catch fire, but you need super high temperatures like a blowtorch to do it. Violet and black phosphorus require some seriously wild conditions to form properly. You need to heat the red form for a full week at 550 degrees Celsius to transform it into violet phosphorus. 